Good morning! <laughs> it's a snow day and it's so beautiful. Everything is white outside. No! <laughs> Cosmo's desperate to go out. It's a snow day! No, but seriously, I love snow and right now we'll go for a quick walk, but later I want to go up onto that beautiful path that we go to every day now. Um, because it's gonna be gorgeous. It'll be like an arc of white and I'm into it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. This day is off to a good start. I just walked Cosmo in a very snowy wonderland that we have awoken to. And I'm excited because I love snow, but I did already like psychologically transition into spring, but that is okay. I'm gonna sit down and plan a little bit. I think like yesterday, actually I should check my phone because I feel like yesterday I spent like 90% of my day on my phone or computer because I was just sucked into like this whole yeah, my phone time averages, oh my god, on Monday I spent eight hours on my phone. Oh, that's so depressing. Uh, okay, so today I'm gonna do time blocking to um, to hopefully just get myself in better of a schedule. Incremental improvement, that's the theme because this is a, this is a damn struggle. I'm gonna make breakfast. I went uh, to the shop yesterday and I got a bunch of produce, so I'm gonna use that now. I just got off of Skype with my buddy Hakob. Hakob is in China and so he's been on self-quarantine for two months. So we just had a really, really lovely conversation about like everything that he went to, uh, went through during quarantine and like I was feeling stir crazy after three days and so like he really like calmed me down and uh, shout out to Hakob, like much love man, like I feel like I can handle it now. <laughs> so in half an hour, I have a meeting with um, Luso. We're gonna go through a bunch of Creopia work, which I'm very excited about. Um, we need to figure out a lot of stuff moving forward. And it is really nice that we kind of have space to, to do this now because uh, we had like so many events and like, uh, things planned that were really taking up a lot of time and we were feeling the frustration of like not being able to figure out like some things first so yeah again blessing in disguise to like have this time and space to kind of to kind of get into gear and uh and prepare for what lies ahead oh, <laughs> p.m. now and I'm back in like a weird funk I did like a really deep meditation and again like all of this shit is coming up which I guess is good but I like 
took a nap for two hours afterwards and I didn't do any of the work I wanted to do today. So I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm gonna Skype with my friend Tate Vik from Moscow soon. That'll definitely lift my mood. I'll go walk Cosmo. But I guess today was slightly better than yesterday because, well it was. Well, today I spent a lot less time uh, like watching stupid shit on YouTube. Also, I, I guess I didn't sleep well last night because yeah, I really needed this nap. The, oh, thank you. But it's like complete, it's totally snowing. Like, look at this. Opa. Can you see it snowing? It doesn't show up on camera, but it's coming down. So this quarantine is making me feel some type of way. I just had a very intense conversation with my absolutely beautiful angel genius of a friend, Tata Vik, who's stuck in Moscow in her apartment. And we like talked about a lot of different things. <laughs> and so now I'm just left with um, a lot to process <laughs> and I'm gonna meditate because I, I definitely can't fall asleep right now so I'm gonna meditate for as long as it takes to kind of calm my brain down but I'm feeling particularly more encouraged um, yeah, um, words are failing me right now, but but I'm definitely processing a lot of things and and I, I'm definitely feeling like my kind of like empath energy is really raising right now, which is interesting considering that, you know, I'm in so much less contact with people, but somehow not having contact with people and having space on my own um, and, and creating space within myself and like my own psyche, it's opening channels that's that's making me feel so much of what is going on around the world right now and like this state of anxiety that everybody's in. So it's very uncomfortable, but I wanna lean into it more because I feel like the only way to kind of push through this very, very like uncertain time is to is to generate more feeling of connectedness and and today I had like such beautiful connections with two of my friends who are so far away from me and who I haven't seen for such a long time and 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 the fact that we are able to have these connections still despite distance and and time past um, is is something I'm eternally grateful for so yeah so my brain is definitely um, you know overloaded right now so yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll check in tomorrow. It's almost 4 a.m. Yes, I know Cosmos. And I still haven't fallen asleep. Ugh. I'm so annoyed. It's my fault because I napped during the day. And I napped too long. Yeah. Now I can sleep. And so I'm just bothering my dog. I kind of feel like going outside, but it's gonna be so cold. So that's where we're at. I think that I need to also like start working out because I need to tire myself out for my day. Yeah, but anyway, I know I'm yawning, but I can't fall asleep. I simply cannot, I have tried. And now I'm gonna turn on my projector and watch some music videos, because that's what I feel like doing. And eating some Pringles. Midnight snack.